Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be unboxing um, the Shui helmets. Um, this is first time I'm using um, Shui. Shui is one of the best helmets in the world or in the market at the moment. As you can see, this is the uh, NXR model. Um, I got it a few days ago and I thought I'll do a video um, on my YouTube Arab Motorcycles uh, um, channel and show what this comes with. So let's crack on with it. As you can see, it comes in this box. Box right there. So let's let's put this aside and then we will go through a bit by bit later on. This comes, I think, with the manual. Um, some sort of liquid. This is a, a chin, I think chin in the winter for uh, for air or wind, so it'll protect your chin. And then uh, let's open the helmet itself. I got the helmet with the uh, in those colors. Um, there was two options, one red and green, and there's this one with uh, red, blue, and white. Um, I chose that one because my bike is blue, so I thought at least have something with the bike to match the bike a bit. As you can see, this is the NXR. Um, CWR-1 is the visor, I think. As you can see, the package as well comes with the pin lock, double uh, visor, um, anti-resistant, uh, fog resistant. Um, we will open that as well and try. You see it fits the CWR1, which means fits this helmet as well. As you can see, the helmet come in a nice bag so you can store it in to uh, to protect it a bit from scratches as you can see it's quite a soft material we put this aside so that's what it came up with and bring everything out and see what it comes with so this comes from the nose is to protect wind from now. We put this aside and this goes at the bottom to cover the chin. A couple of stickers you can use them on your bike. Uh, how to use panel. And then as a, another man one as well I have to put how the instruction how to use it couple of warning ones this is silicone oil and this another instruction as well with the spare two pin locks as you can see how to do your helmet as you can see it has vents for the head vents in the middle and then vent air vent at the bottom here I think and there's one on the back which it helps as well to ventilate your back back of your head um, as you can see it's a bridge safety so that's the anti-scratch visor as you can see you have a pin here that you can raise it I lower it with this. So as we said, we have five air vents, one there, two, two here, and one in the back, which is actually pretty good when you drive in and under a bit of pressure and just focusing, your head will start sweating, especially in the summer, which is a good thing to have all these vents. Um, it gives you like kind of circulation in there, especially when the helmet is new 
um, the pads would be brushing, pressing on your face and head as all these pads are really new and still hard. So then they, uh, they kind of put the pressure on your head and you start sweating. As you can see, these are the O-rings one. Let me put it on. Which you lock it. You go through the both rings and then go back over the first ring, back to the back ring, and then you click it here. Let's do it again. So when you release it from here, pull this red one, and then you can undo the bell. Again, let's go through both rings, put it out once you're actually wearing it so you know the size exactly. Pull this back over the first one, go to the next one, pull it back, it's tightened to your size, and then you click it here. It's best way, it's really good to click it here, so sometimes I do forget clicking it. Um, not on this one, but on the other uh, uh, fasting one. So when you don't click it, it will be this for safety. You have to click it, otherwise you might get loose. But it's kind of quite tight, so it's quite safe. I never used this one before. This is my first time I have um, the rings rather than the clip. Um, but what when you leave this loose and not clip, um, when you start driving, this will start hitting your chin and it will start playing all over and all kind of annoying you and you kind of lose focus because you keep thinking about it so it's best to do it also for your own safety as you can see from inside all well padded let's go back to the visor as you can see the visor it's um it's an anti-scratch one um there is a way of undoing the visor so you open it completely um, and then pull this one here as you can see here, the clip is opening. Then move it a tiny bit, and that's how you release the visor. Same way, the other side. Pull this out. We'll, um, we'll unclip here and here. So then you just shake it a bit, and that's it's done as well. So by doing this, you are ready to install the anti, anti mist or yeah anti mist one. So let me see. Uh -huh. I think it has here a film in it, unless it's only from the outside. Yeah, it's from the outside. While we have the visor off, this is to reduce the amount of wind goes on your on your nose or um, I think you do it so you're supposed to be click it like that as you can see here as well so it re reduce actually um, especially in the winter there's a cold wind so reduce the cold wind hitting on your nose uh, and on your face as well let's put the back back so this is the chin as you can see you clip it here under here and there is the two here two points here and then you pull it further and then clip it just behind here. All right. So there's three points here, and then this one, clip it here. It will hold you, also your chin, as less wind comes in, but also makes you feel like it's supporting your chin at the bottom, so the helmet won't move that much also to the top. All right. As you can see, there's two red straps here and this only in emergency as you can see here emergency use you can pull it to remove the sheet pads so only if god forbid you will have 
an accident or you're stuck in it or something, you can pull this and it will rip. It will take off the pad of its place. Okay, so let's go to the pin lock. As you can see, sealed. I'm not sure how many in that pack. It just came free with the visor. That is the pin lock. It has some shrink film on it, which need to be removed. Yeah. Then it just simply, you just put it on one side. this one and then put it on the second one here and that's it as simple as that it's not rocket science not difficult you just you clip it here and clip it here but also as I said it comes with two pins just in case from removing it or there so you're breaking them you break the pin they giving you a bit too spares ones here so now we can go back and clip it the same way go to the position of it been completely open hip and i release this lever so this lever is clipped here one two three points that's it it's safe go to the other side and again, clip this backward and it just fits here. So this, the pin will get locked here, one, two, and three corners. And that's it, that's all ready to go. As I said earlier, she was one of the best models or one of the best helmets out there in the market. As you can see, they use it in all kind of racing. Uh, and professional drivers um, as they are very safe helmets um, as I said this is one of the most important part of your um, gear the helmet is the most important part in your gear as it protects your head and any even as as light is the as the fall that you're gonna fall God forbid or you drop your bike it will any hit to your head it can cause um, a massive damage to your brain so therefore it's best you always choose a good helmet and you change the helmet everyone like experts saying up every three to five years if you not heavily use it but if you drop it you'll have to change it immediately uh, but if not up to three to five years it depends on the model model and the use if you use it a lot in all kind of conditions uh, me personally i do not drive ride out in uh, in the rain so always in a good condition so for me i think i'll change every three to five years four or five years it depends on the pads on the conditions of the helmet but otherwise from safety uh, yeah i think up to five years maximum um, do not exceed that depends remember you're protecting your life what your life is worth that's what you buy uh, maybe you invested a bit more a couple of hundred quids extra but it's giving yourself a bit more protection. And as the, the warning here saying, also in the book saying, um, this will help you reduce the impact to your head by depending how fast you're driving. If you're exceeding the speed limit, as fast as you go, even the helmet won't protect you. And a lot of people do lose their lives by driving fast and by the impact on their head, even if they're wearing the 1500 pound helmet. So this just to reduce the impact to your head, but doesn't, you know, protect you 100%, depending on how you drive and how fast you drive. So make sure you always drive safe and following the law and, and the speed limit. Please, if you enjoyed it, if you liked the video, please press like and subscribe. Uh, and we'll keep uh, posting a bit more videos on, on gears and 
protection. All right, thank you very much and have a good Christmas.